God's amazing gift of love, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. At a certain point in time, we believe that God reached into our lives in the most profound way. God chose to actually enter into human life in the person of Jesus Christ. We believe that Jesus shared union with God from the very beginning of time. As human beings, the best way to know God's love is to see a God with a human face who shares intimately our humanity and empties himself for the love of us. Whoever sees me sees him who sent me. When we see Jesus, we see God's love in a way that is concrete and real. Our ancestors in faith waited for a God to send them a Messiah, someone who would bring peace to their land. They expected a powerful military leader who would wipe out their enemies. But the God of love is also a God of surprises. Their Messiah came to them as a vulnerable baby, born in poverty of a very young mother. He was raised in a small town and grew in age and wisdom and in a sense of his mission. Jesus brought hope to those who had lost hope. He brought healing to the sick and dignity to those who were outcasts. He showed us a way to live in God's love and in doing so, helped to build the kind of existence that God has dreamed for us from the very beginning. We call this God's kingdom. And it comes not from power and military might, but from the transformation of people's hearts to know God's love for them. Jesus walked willingly into death, trusting that God's love would triumph. And it did. The ultimate sign of God's love came in his raising Jesus from the dead and promising the same to us. Most significantly, Jesus showed us in his life, death, and resurrection that there is no place in our human life where God is absent from us. God's love is present to us in every human situation, in all the joys and sufferings of life. God is faithful to his promise to love us without limit or condition, and nothing, even death, can ever separate us from God's love. God's love is stronger than anything anyone can do or try to do to eliminate it. As St. Paul says in his letter to the Romans, For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. In my job as a hospital chaplain, I have an opportunity to witness some very intense suffering at times. And if I'm trying to comfort a person who is suffering, who happens to be Christian, I will often share my belief with them that we believe in a God who knows very well what it means to suffer. There's nothing that we can ever experience in life that God has not already experienced. And when you consider that God is all glorious, all powerful, and deliberately made the choice to set that aside for a, for a time and become human so that he could really be intimate with us, I just find that incredibly awesome. Jesus Christ for me is, is my Lord. He is my brother. I, I can't even begin to tell you what he's done for me in his dying on the cross. Because what he did was he released me from the choices that I made. I had boxed myself in a corner with my life. And the many things that I thought were acceptable by the world were not really acceptable by God. And I had no way out until I realized that it was Jesus that had my way out. He died for my sins for what I did. And I choose him every day to pursue him and to live my life based on what he wants me to do 
And what he wants me to do is represent him in love and kindness and caring. And he's there in the good times and the bad. He's right next to me when it's really tough. And he knows because he's been through really tough. There's no suffering that I've experienced that our Lord has not experienced through his life on earth. And he is our God who came down and I know died for me. Pause the DVD to reflect and discuss. How have you come to know the love of God through Jesus Christ?